clip loops. One of my all time favorite things to do. Why? Because clip loops will be your savior when you're dealing with things like room tone. Uh, sometimes you want to loop something uh, because you need more of it. For example, uh, here we have a 30 second commercial, right? Uh, and I've got a wind track right here. But maybe if there, maybe only I want to use maybe the first eight seconds of it and have that loop over and over because after that, maybe the wind picks up or maybe it dives down. Um, maybe you didn't record enough room tone and you need to loop it. In the past, what you would do is you would do something like this. Let's just put this right here. You could always do like a copy and then a paste 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 and then put them all together using shuffle mode, right? That's one thing you can do. You could do that. That's okay. Um, it's just a big waste of time though because you've got this super cool tool called clip looping. First of all, um, I've got all these windstorm gusts here. Why don't I listen to them? I haven't shown you this before, but when you're in the clip area, if you hit option, so you get you get the little scrubber tool and hold down with your mouse, option, click. I can audition a clip. Uh, let's listen to this one. Ugly duckling looks. Nope, that, not using that one. What's this track? Ah, that might be something I want to use later. So option click on anything in the clip list and you get to basically audition it. Uh, see what it sounds like. Okay, so let's see here. What, what do these winds sound like right here? Sounds pretty good to me. So let's take this, put it in here. Okay, so basically it looks like uh, basically we have a 30 second commercial but this wind clip will not cover the whole thing. I checked that already, sir. It's making a sound like rah, rah. And on top of that, I might not want the whole thing anyway. I checked that already, sir. It's making a sound like. If I look at my waveform, actually, remember how we can make the waveform bigger? That lets us see basically what's the quiet part and what's the louder part with a little more detail. We can also stretch out like this. So based on this, I checked that already, sir. It's making a sound like rah, rah. No, rah. That right there. I don't think I want that bit. Like this bit right here. No, rah. Maybe I want this one. Yes. What? Eh, even that's a little. I want something really mellow. This bit right here looks like it might be good. A kaboom! A kaboom! A kaboom! Like rah, rah, like rah. Okay, so let's take that little bit right there. Okay, what I would do is this: I would basically, with my trim tool, I would basically go down to that, and then this is what you do. You go up to clip, down to loop, and look at this window that pops open. Look at this, uh, number of loops, I don't know, let's try four. Look at that, it's created four loops. You go down here to the, to the uh, this is what's called the loop point, this little arrow, use your trim tool, you go down here and make each one a little bit longer. So let's solo this so we can really hear the loop points. If you listen closely, you can actually hear the loop point a little bit. There's a way around that. Check this out. Let's uh, go back up to clip, down to loop. Look at this, number of loops. Again, let's do four. Then you can enable a crossfade. Remember what the crossfade does? It makes your transitions smoother. Settings. 
And remember, there's about a thousand milliseconds in a second. So a lot of times it'll default to 10 milliseconds. That's barely anything. So you want something that's like, I don't know. Oop, whoa, not that much. A thousand milliseconds. That's a full second. You click on OK. Uh, let's make four loops. And then boop. You can still, you could still tell that there's a loop going on. You can still tell. However, that harsh cut that was there is gone because it's been crossfaded. Now, if you want to go in, uh, there's even actually, and there's even more you can do. So let's undo that. Go back up to clip loop. Uh, you can enable the crossfade, which is what we're doing. You can say number of loops, eight, but what if you don't know? You don't know how many you need. Well, th get this. Let's cancel out of this. So right now we know that this is, that, that this clip starts at the 128 mark. I want this to go from the very beginning to the very end of the clip. So go into spot mode, click on it, and tell it to go back have its starting point at the 128 mark. Boom. Okay. A lot of times what I do is this. I'll go basically to, um, just for fun, what I'll do is this. I'll create like a little barrier here. I'll just basically do, uh, let's see, just, just a little music track. Let's see, the end of this clip is at uh, 3220. So I will put this clip at 3221. And basically, that means I've got this gap right here. I've got this gap right in here. So all I have to do is click on this. Oops. Click on this. Make sure it begins at 128 because that's when the video clip begins. And I want this to loop all the way to the end of this video. Why did I put this here? Because this is going to be a little wall, as you're going to see. So what? while this clip is selected, you go up to clip, loop. And check this out. Instead of number of loops, you click on loop until end of the session or the next clip. Now the session is this whole window. So if I so if there was nothing here, this would just loop until it didn't want to loop anymore, which would be the end of the session. Who knows when that is? But if we put a little clip in there as a little wall, then it's just gonna basically make loop 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 until it hits the end of until it hits this clip right here and when it does that we will see that it's at the end of the commercial so you hit okay boom look at that now i can get rid of this and look i have created a loop that goes from the very beginning to the very end of the commercial and so if i play it i checked that already sir it's making a sound like rah rah no. Rah! Yes! What? And then, then it's making... You get the idea. And one last thing I will show you about uh, clip, uh, clip groups here, or clip loops here, is let's zoom in a little bit. There's actually a shortcut, but it's not a keyboard sh shortcut. It's a tool shortcut. So I've got my, my clip here that I want to loop. I checked right. that already, sir. Rather than go up to clip loop, I could just go up to the trim tool. Trim tool? What are you talking about? I don't want to. I don't want to like trim this and just expose all that. I wor I worked hard to to pick the uh, loop that I wanted. Okay, go to the trim tool, click and hold, go down to trim loop, trim loop. Probably guess what this is gonna do. Click. As you can see. The trim tool is there and it's got a little loop arrow. We've seen that before. That's the loop point arrow that pops up at the end of the clip when it loops. So watch this with trim loop selected, click and hold and watch. It's creating loops as I'm dragging them out. 
This is the simple down and dirty way to create loops. If you know you want your loops to end at a certain point, or if you know you want a specific number of loops, or if you want to add crossfades, then yes, you do want to go up to clip loop. But if you just want to create a, a, a simple loop using the trim loop tool, boom, just go up to trim, down to loop, and just drag it out to your heart's content. And then in the end, if you're like, this loop was dumb, I don't want to deal with this anymore. You can either undo it, or if you're way past the level undos, maybe like the next day you look at it and you're like, damn it, this was lame, I shouldn't have done that. Doesn't matter, check it out. All you gotta do, select your little loop clip, go up to clip, unloop. So it says, would you like to flatten the loop and create individual clips? or remove looped instances and revert back to the original clip. So I could flatten it, and what it does is it creates basic, it's kind of like a consolidate. It consolidates it into a new clip, but keeping the crossfades for me to adjust however I want. Isn't that cool? Or, go up to clip, unloop, remove, and then just goes back to where you were in the beginning. So, there's infinite ways you can basically loop a clip, you can, after you loop it, you can trim the crossfades, you can just trim the loop itself by using the trim loop tool, you can loop it until it hits another clip. Um, Basically, the loop tool is the sound designer's friend when they want to uh, basically make room tone or some sort of ambient sound last from the beginning of the scene until the end of the scene. It's great, and it's much faster than copying and pasting.